What's up guys, it's Jay, more than half kill, and I'm back here on my road to 30. This is a series that I do on my channel where each week we take a look at one year of my life and talk about the memories and significant events that have come to shape the person that I am today. And right now I am 29 motherfucking years old. By the time this series is done, I will be 30 motherfucking years old. And this is episode 10, which means in this video, I am 10 motherfucking years old. And this is actually a very significant year for me. Because not only does it mark the end of my innocence, because we talked about last video where my kind of my dark side started coming out, you know, and uh, there are some questions in my life that I wanted answered. And this year, I am going to get none of those motherfucking questions answered. But I am going to discover something about myself that I didn't know because I am going to my first motherfucking baseball game, which is the Phillies versus the Dodgers and the Phillies were a damn good team back in the day I was a huge baseball fan and I would have loved nothing more than to go see the Phillies but we didn't have enough money for me to go with my friends to purchase my ticket and their family did something that I thought was probably the nicest thing that anybody has done for me up until that point they were having a yard sale and they told me that if I came and helped them at the yard sale that they would buy me my ticket. Now these tickets were really shitty tickets. They were nosebleed seats in Veterans Stadium. The five, six hundred motherfucking level. Which means you're not really going to see much. But just being there and experiencing it is something that I really wanted. So I put in a lot of effort to make sure that this yard sale went off not only without a hitch. But made them enough money to cover the ticket because I felt bad that they wanted to purchase the ticket for me And they offered me a way to kind of work it off for them and give them a hand at the same time Which was very very cool. So I spent all week making flyers I put it up all around the neighborhood I got on my bike and I rode like I must have rode up to a mile away posting these flyers all over town all on telephone poles and like they had these big uh, potters on the uh, streets that used to uh, really be kind of shitty because there's really no plants inside them. So I used to just stick them all around the side. I stuck flyers every motherfucking where. And this is where I found out that I do have a little bit of work ethic. When I wanted something, I would actually have the confidence in myself after this point to actually find a way to make the money to purchase things that I want for myself. So, we had the yard sale, and I am selling things left and right. People are coming from all over. It was nothing less than a success. And I felt really good about myself because this is where I found out that not only do I have a really good gift for Gab, I also have a very good knack for selling and negotiating prices and making sure that not only do I get the money out of whatever I'm selling, but also that I also get the other person a pretty good deal at the same time so everybody can actually feel good about this uh, this transaction. And that is something that is going to help me out later on in my life when I actually am trying to find out what I'm going to do in with myself because I didn't really have any type of career pass. I wanted to be a lawyer as a kid because like I said, I do have a knack for actually talking to people. Uh, I can, you know, argue my point very, very well. I can debate points to like to where I need to uh, get my information and my point across. I've always been pretty decent at that. So it's actually a really good time in my life that I am finding out that I can do these things because later on they are pretty much going to set the tone for my entire adulthood. But not only that, we went to the baseball game and we had a blast, you know. I had a little extra money left over because I sold a lot of things. I made them like 50, 60 bucks at a yard sale. And when you think about it back in like, this is like early, early 90s. 50, 60 bucks was a pretty decent amount of money then. So, you know, we were able to buy the tickets, uh, my ticket included, but, you know, also get a few hot dogs, some drinks, and, you know, have a really good time. And being a kid that was poor from the ghetto, this is the first time that I was actually out of my town and I was out in the world and I saw a city and I saw that there's people moving around and doing things and the world was a lot bigger than the little little tiny ghetto that I grew up in 
And I also got to experience some of the things that, you know, a lot of people take for granted. Like you said, go into a city, you know, go out to new places and see new people. But also, you know, being in a stadium such as Veteran Stadium, it was a huge, massive stadium. And seeing that whole sports complex and, you know, knowing that there's people in there making a living, making like, you know, thousands of dollars as baseball players. Because they didn't make millions yet back in the 90s. They, they made probably like a couple hundred of thousands. But, but to know that that there is like you know people out there and enjoying entertainment and enjoying life it's like uh this really gave me a taste of life outside the ghetto and wanted me to put the type of work ethic inside of the person that i am to make sure that i do everything mother fucking possible to get out of this ghetto because i did not want to get stuck there like most of my family has throughout the times like my grandpa and grandma they grew up in this area and it was a really nice area back in like the 30s 40s 50s you know they bought their house they made their life there and you know over 40 50 years the place went down pretty shitty and you know our family got stuck into the ghetto my mom got pregnant at a very early age and uh you know she tried her best to raise me and my brother they're, you know, trying to give us what we can. Uh, my grandma would buy Christmas presents for my mother because, you know, she couldn't afford them for me and my brother, so we would have at least something. Now, was it a full-blown extravaganza Christmas? No, but it was something. But also, this day made me feel like that I can actually get out of here and experience these things and go have fun and, you know, just really embrace life and become the person that I wanted to be and not get stuck into that rotation. And right now, I think that this is uh, probably the most significant year in my life. Because, like I said, not only did I find out that I had a work ethic, but I also wanted to get out of the ghetto, and I experienced new places. But I also found out that I have a knack for selling and negotiating. And later on, like I said, when it comes down to it, that is what's going to be the thing that sets in motion, you know, the path that I am today when I become 19, 20 years old. And I become really, uh, really enraged with my position. I, I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't want to settle. I didn't want to be, you know, the guy that goes to work 9 to 5, come home and realize that I'm $50 down on the rent. You know what I mean? That, that That's the type of life that we had to grow up with dealing. That there wasn't going to be enough food. There wasn't going to be enough, uh, enough money for the rent. But also, I'm going to take this newfound work ethic and experience, and I'm going to get myself a paper route, which I end up using to not only buy myself the things that I want to give myself a better life, but also to help out a little bit around the house. That way we had a little bit of extra money coming in, and it's going to parlay its way all the way into adulthood. So like I said, this is probably the most significant event that has happened to me. And I know it doesn't sound very significant, but when we get into the later years and I start explaining it, you're going to be like, wow, that was actually a really big moment. And when at the time, it just seemed like such a small, significant event. So, my name is Jay. More than half a kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me the motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So like I said, my name is Jay. More than half a kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later. <laughs>